freedom is a feeling and that feeling is very good. I know if you could buy it, you most certainly would. If you could win it, you'd play those aces high, but it's just a feeling and feelings just go by. But sometimes they don't and won't go until the victory is won. And the cost is usually very high for a feeling you could have begun. In fighting for your freedom, you've brought everybody down, you've made your mother cry, and you've made your father proud. You've set all nature free, and now there's nowhere to go home, because the gardeners want more money, and the garden's overgrown. And the snakes moved into paradise like they've always done before, and you find that your precious freedom is behind a bolted door. And the more they try to warn you, the more you rebel and cry. I will fight for my freedom even if I have to die. And the forests and the jungles and the deserts and the seas all come and go as the ages flow in and out of this disease. So I lock myself away another day to play while I work for my pay to earn another day. To have feelings galore and the things evermore and the price is always sore until the value hits the floor. And the price I pay for life grants me time to play and experience elusive freedom, that thing I'd love to stay. So protest all you want, only you the value know of what is right and wrong and where you want to go. But just remember always just where you want to be, yesterday, today and tomorrow, and why everybody can't be free. So I lock my doors behind me to protect myself from thugs who want everything I've got but who won't give me hugs. Instead they'll keep their law in the playgrounds and the streets and I won't wander far from home to search out secret streets. For those streets are protected and the grounds are a sacred lot where I'd like to go and play but I sure don't want to be shot. There's always some bag snatcher or pedophile in the shade watching for an opportunity that he thinks his God has made. So until this war is over, the ages will roll by and the earth will last forever and the wind will always sigh and the forest and the jungles and the deserts and the seas will host the snakes and ladders until hell itself will freeze. Don't you know yourself by now that the battle lies within? to go to work every day and look after your neighbor and kin and curb that hungry feeling when the time isn't right until it comes in glory with a day that burns so bright and we'll all stand together and wave this all goodbye for only love lasts forever and freedom is a lie what is love you ask i'll tell you what i know it's doing things for others and reaping what you sow. It's sweating and forgiving. It's toiling and thanksgiving. It's anger at the right time. It's hugging at the night time. It's holding on to babies. It's holding on to hands. It's making time to experience freedom in foreign and homelands. It's making foods and drinks. It's making money too. To buy the things that love so wants to give to me and you. Feelings, you may say like freedom can be bought or freedom can be won in a battle you have fought i can't agree or disagree i have no time to ponder that the sun shines hotly on my head i must go buy a hat what kind of hat does love wear when the world is at the door i guess i'd peek through the peephole and ask what do you want me for and what kind of hat does love wear to go out and play i swear i don't know anymore because some have gone astray. I don't do you harm, I hope, with this rhyme. I'm listening to the storm and enjoying my free time. If it bothers you to read, then toss these words aside. Your freedom to do what you want to do doesn't mean I own your hide. We all make our decisions to do what we want to do. When I go out and play in the hay, I hope you're coming too. But when the day requires my sweat and my strength, I hope you'll join to bathe the hail and measure every length. Sorry, I hope you'll join to bail the hay and measure every length. For as we sow, we reap our rewards that we need. 
to build a land that's proud and free and all our mouths to feed. Of course, of snakes beware, they strike at any time and take away our freedom to work for pay and dime. Don't let them take my things that I keep within my walls. Don't let them clamp my mouth so my God won't hear my calls. Our heroes and our forces and our workers and our guards are trying to protect everybody in their homes and in their yards. For the ages we now live in contain far too many snakes and they breed in many places, sky, land, sea, rivers and lakes. <coughs> I don't know the difference between them and me. They look like ordinary creations, but they don't want me to be free. And it gets so darn confusing, so I stay within my walls and pray for our protection when I venture into malls. A martyr or a saint is what someone to be, but go about it in the wrong way as they fight to be free. Don't be the one to draw first blood in every fight you find. One day you'll know just what was meant when they told you love is blind. As I've mentioned once before, confusion reigns sometimes, because I can't tell the difference between yours and mine. The borders were created between the lands and the sea, like the borders of my walls between you and me. But venturing out toward you in love or need or aid, there are many I don't know and unseen borders laid. But venture sometimes I must, to buy or work or play, to keep my courage up, I walk upright and pray. I watch my words take shape like a magic wand in flight, or a miracle taking shape, it is quite a sight. Frightened I can't be, strong I must stand, and lock my doors in and out and pray God protects our land. There's many ways to read what I've tried to say, in your freedom to enjoy this poem, you interpret it in your own way. Maybe you misunderstand me, but there's no worry here. We all believe what we want to believe, and you should have no fear. I'm just a poet who's passing pleasant time, musing over the things that are happening in my time, and trying to fathom reason why you would want to read what I'm planting in the ground and who I wish to feed. Myself, of course, I need to nourish, so in my life that I may flourish. To bless and be blessed for trying hard to be the one with the winning card. In the game of life I play with you, that you may want to play with me too. So I may not feel alien and alone when I venture out of my home. And not be frightened that someone will steal something that's real and precious to me. But how can one make that freedom become something real that can be lost or won? Do I have to repeat myself again? From the top. Amen.